Ooh wee, well, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna hit y'all with that uh, El Camino talk, El Camino overview, just to let y'all know uh, what's going on with the with the Elco man. Man, we'll start off right here. As y'all see, it's a 350 in it. So you know we already looking funky with that. Um, it is missing one belt right here. Looks like it goes here, here, and that's probably about it. But uh, it still run like a champ. But with that belt, it'll probably be a real monster. So it is Edelbrocked out. Ugh. Sitting on them things, man. Craggers. And body is in great shape. I did just get done vacuuming it out, making it look a little pretty for you guys. But it's real plush. Liner looks good. Um, as you see, we got one uh, one visor up here. This one is broke, but it is back here. Uh, the mirror's gone, but it's right here too. So basically, whatever the car got, it is it is all there. I don't know what's up with all these. I'm not a big fan of all this stuff. Um, so I'll probably be taking this out. Um, I don't know. The radio, I found that too. It don't work, but it might be something up with the wiring. Face off and stuff, you know. So it's looking funky. Ugh. What's up with this? Oh, there we go. So let's take a look at our paperwork. Dusty, crusty stuff, man. And the original owner, man, back in 78 was your boy Jerry E. Allen. So, I mean, this car looks like it's going to be a keeper for life with that kind of paperwork in it. So, a little crusty. What's this? Tires. Mm, old old Riley's receipt. What else? We got some light bulbs, some tissues, a pen. Nothing too crazy. What's this? Oh, I swear I should some insurance, but I'm gonna throw all this good stuff back in there. But this is the original El Camino paperwork. So. I'm always happy when original paperwork comes with the vehicle. Get all this junk back together. But it's crazy, original owner's name is Jerry, man. I guess it was just meant for it. You get junkyard homie. But uh, we'll go ahead and crank this thing up. And that's no pump. Looks like uh, the door chop do want to work. Shit. So that's pretty good. It does fire up. It does go. Ooh. You got a little squeak right here, but you can see that belt is pretty wobbly. Alternator new. Good. Looks like it's for that temperature gauge. And I am going to get this car repainted just the same color that it is now. Nothing too fancy, too crazy. And it 
do get to shaking, boy. So I like that, man. You step on the gas, it's gonna wobble. So I'll probably go get a, a belt for it here in a little bit whenever I find me some time. I need a couple belts for a couple whips, but the Elko, man, it's looking real solid, real straight. Uh, I've been talking to a few people, man, they're like, oh, no, that motor was swapped, man, it came with a, a 305, man. Yeah, right. That sticker's out the factory, it is a 350. little shit like this you know you gotta always go back and do with old cars i do want to get this swapped out yeah and i mean it's looking real smooth back here too Ooh, it's dusty i need to clean this up uh-oh i got a phone call y'all i'm gonna holler at y'all in a second man let me get back on you after the church